Open intelligence introduction is really simple because it's so natural to us. And um, now just hearing in the video and here the introduction to open intelligence, where the, our intelligence is so vast like sky. You can imagine sky, vast like sky, not between like the ears stuck somewhere. It's vast like sky, open and clear. And this introduction is is, um, is a powerful introduction to our great capacity, its immediate benefit. And uh, what, uh, what here in the Bans U training is um, offered is then a simple practice and a, and, and a support network that makes simply open intelligence obvious in daily life. That's, that's all. But that's all is just so amazing because it is an intelligence that is that is um, that just got well, is unnoticed by focusing on all our thoughts and emotions so that's that's um, when once that shift is obvious like wow there's actually an intelligence that is inseparable from all these thoughts and emotions and is vast like the sky and we say data, you might have heard that term, data to all thoughts, emotions and experiences, really basically everything you can see, hear, smell, anything really at all. You might have had that smell when you came in to the center. Maybe not, but there was a huge smell today. <clears throat> so everything really, anything that, that we can perceive is inseparable from this vast intelligence. Now, what does that mean? <clears throat> Open intelligence, it's the capacity, the power to know, the power to know. It's um, what's looking for you know, so the eyes, what's hearing, what's seeing, what's sensing. And to recognize open intelligence is it's basically its immediate benefit, it's, com it's complete relief because what it, what it means is that we don't have to focus anymore on all these thoughts, emotions, sensations, and any experiences, but recognize open intelligence. So that's what it means, the short moments of open intelligence. That's what, that's what the basic practice is, to test out a short moment of open intelligence right here. And to repeat it many times, that's why you hear it here many times, the short moments repeated many times, because, because it becomes obvious in our daily life and experiences, and in our direct experience. So that's basically what the Balanced View Training is all about. It's, it's making open intelligence obvious. <laughs> We have the support of everything, <laughs> the music, <laughs> the sounds. Everything is, um, everything is the vast intelligence of the universe. And it's basically, you can't get it at the information table or here. It's, it's innate, it's inseparable from who we are. So, <clears throat> so, so what to do? Coming back to these meetings, make it obvious. Just like listening to, to, because we just simply share our experience of this powerful introduction to open intelligence and how we actually do short moments of open intelligence in, yeah, during the day. So when you today walk out of this meeting, just testing short moments of open intelligence, it means a, a moment of complete relaxation. So when feelings come up or thought comes up, it can be also a good one or a bad one or anything we want to change, maybe something we want to change, uncomfortable feeling, you, we, anything at all. And we take a short moment and let, basically we let data be as it is. And you hear like these metaphors of a line drawn in water. That's what, it, what happens with all these emotions and thoughts. They vanish naturally, leaving no trace. And open intelligence shines brightly and vast, like sky. And so we don't have to actually get rid of anything. 
recognizing that everything is perfect just as it is. But, <clears throat> but it is an, an ex experience that, that's why the short moments are important, become, because it becomes more and more obvious just in repeating it and by hearing it, con by having it confirmed again and again. And then it becomes obvious in, in our own experience. And when I share, like I met the teaching 10 years ago, or maybe 12 years ago, up in Rishikesh. And I was on a mission just really finding complete peace, first of all in myself, but then really for, I studied psychology. That means I wanted to really know what, what can help me and others to find uh, peace, to find satisfaction. And then we look into the world, it seems like completely hopeless. And how can all come together in a way that, um, well, something that is fundamental to everyone. We know it instinctively. That's why when we hear these words here, we know that something is true. Because it isn't like any kind of concept. Or, and especially don't think about anything that we say here. <laughs> it's really important because even if it doesn't make sense, that's the best actually advice that I see. Even if it doesn't make sense, anything, like only maybe 1% at all, <laughs> just coming back. This is what I did. I just came back to meetings like this and just listened. Like <clears throat> the website has many talks and, and there are many trainings. That's why we offer these trainings that evoke open intelligence in the direct experience and make it obvious. And what that means is the power to know and a capacity, you know, like a capacity that is limitless. Capacity to be of benefit, to see, to relate in, a, in an open way because we are not distracted or disturbed by any emotions or thoughts. Like they leave no trace. There's like a line drawn in water. And recognizing this stability, it's indestructible. It like, it cannot be destroyed. It's completely indestructible. Clear, completely alert, relaxed. Even if we feel totally stressed or inseparable. And that, that's uh, especially something not to think about. How can it be inseparable? to something that, I, that we don't like, because immediately there's um, just used to getting rid of thoughts and emotions. Like that's, that's definitely, yeah, just simply a learned way of using, using our mind. And um, so to test out a, a new way of, it's a completely new way of using our mind. But it is not, nothing to get because it's so innate. You know, what's looking is always looking and it's always powerful intelligence. So for me, it was a complete change in how I dealt with all my thoughts, emotions and how, well, recognizing, wow, we are actually powerful as human beings, regardless of where we come from, what our beliefs are, our religions, like nothing needs to change and that um, is, it, it's totally profound because short moments we can do wherever we are. We sit here, we might think, what's next? What's the lunch? What's, um, what will I do today? Let's do the, uh, the introduction training. That, I mean, just to test it out, well, it, it, nothing can be lost really, even if it, you know, nothing can, we can't, we can't lose anything recognizing something that is innate. So that's, um, that's what I did. I just like checked it out and I couldn't, um, I couldn't turn away anymore because then once in open intelligence is obvious or, you know, even for a short moment, it's so compelling and it gives immediate benefit that um, you naturally want to, to know more. And this immediate benefit, it, it, can't, it can't compare to anything. It can't compare to anything because a, a world focused on all thoughts, emotions and experiences is what we see what's happening now. You know, fighting, making a point, suffering, being 
locked in a cage of descriptions. And you can look in your experience, it's personal, and you can see it on a large le global level of people just caught up in ideas of what everything means and opposing each other. There are many, many ways we think peace can come about but we didn't really see where it happens, really. And we want to really see it happening. Yeah, so when, when looking here, like just in a, in a way, look in yourself, taking short moment, looking in teams that rely on open intelligence. There's like this evidence of being able to work together and live together that, that is like powerful, that uses the powers of great benefit that is really, that's innate in every human being, rather than, you know, limiting this capacity with all our thoughts and emotions. So that, that's basically what, um, what here, what we share about here, the invitation to test it out in our experience to see, wow, I can take a short moment just right now with all my thoughts and emotions and recognize that vast, powerful intelligence. And the, the, the vast, the sky, you can imagine the sky, the color blue and the sky, it's inseparable. So that's like all the thoughts and emotions. Anything you can think of that you would like to change about yourself or about somebody else, <laughs> so that, that happens as well. Like we do want to have a change in someone else. <laughs> and um, I always thought my husband needs to change so I can rest. <laughs> so I can be relaxed. And, um, but really it's like, um, Rec like <laughs> recognizing open intelligence is it's 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 like magic, but it's also really it's like um, it it becomes really when it becomes obvious it becomes normal that there's a relaxed openness. But it's incredible, like that there can be a place where there's no conflict, and so that's what we want to see in the world. And also it's what is, what is needed. So every short moment has that power. And just to say about the trust, how can we trust our thoughts and emotions? It's like impossible. Like one moment you have the best and the next moment you have the worst thoughts. So then also other people, same. So there's a, the trust ultimately in open intelligence, in knowing what is always stable and uh, ultimately reliable, it's powerful to get to know that. Then something opens up in, in that topic of trust. But really the, the, the trust in, uh, rather, the, to see what is ultimately reliable. That's what is recognized in a short moment. Are you ready to test it out today? <laughs> the short moments. You can tell us how it is tomorrow. Just to take one day, I mean, one day of our lives is amazing. To just test out a short moment of opening intelligence. <laughs>